2024 top star wars chrome is finally here ever since they announced this product at the tops conference back in april we've been super stoked to get our hands on it we're gonna go through a delight box which is new to star wars and a new configured hobby box see what we can find new signers new sps new parallels let's get into it so this is the new hobby box we're gonna get one autograph and four numbered parallels is what we should get. We're looking for uh, debut medallions, Shin Hati, Balin Skull, uh, new signers hopefully is what we're looking for. So let's go through this box and pull a monster right now. That's a fresh knife right there. Definitely the first time that was tried. All right. So again, we have 10 packs. I like that, I like less packs to be honest. Come on. So new signers, um, we're looking for Shin Hati. Ivana Sakano is the actress. I think we have, I can't tell. It looks like there's different colors for different people. Yeah, that's exactly. I think I like that though. I like the, the color suits the character. Animated Rex. Grand Moff Tarkin. That is a uh, Galactic Empire insert. That is an orange. Hey, we get a debut in the very first pack. Captain Enoch. 25 of 25. It looks like we'll have base. Steel Pecker debut, of course. That's what we're all looking for. Jason Sindula. And again, we got a mix of mostly live action, it seems like, in this. And we got our auto. It's an orange. Min Weaver. 15 of 25. Peter Jacobson is Min Weaver. I want to see more inserts. I want to see lower numbers. All the new characters. To Dedra Miro. Wicked, of course. And that is a... Colonel Tuttle Refractor. That's Tim Meadows, by the way. We like Tim Meadows. Still looking for, I would guess, three more numbered cards. This pack feels thicker. There is something in this. What is that? What is this? Oh, that is really cool. That is altered. That is just one card. That is a Starship Blueprints. So it has this shadow box look. Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. These are very limited, I think was the quote used on the sales sheet. Darth Vader's TIE Fighter on the Starship's Blueprints. That's very neat. All right, we got a little bit of variety in the inserts. I, I didn't know that it was gonna be full shadow box. That's a Galactic Gear. Another insert of Lando. Young Lando depicted here. All right. So I'd love to see an auto uh, in the delight box of one of the new signers. I want to see some more debuts here. Ooh, what is this? The Rise of Palpatine. So that is an insert set just about the rise of Emperor Palpatine. The Tale of Darth Plagueis. Everybody knows the Tale of Darth Plagueis the Wise. If you've seen Revenge of the Sith, that is. And that's gold. Oh no, that's a gold Arabesh short print. So uh, notice it's not in English. That is an Arabesh short print, gold to 50 of the Mudhorn. Yeah, so those are also new. Uh, they mirror the base set, so every single base card has an Arabesh short print. And there are parallels, there are less parallels on the short prints, but still, that's pretty cool. So we are doing pick your character style breaks. There's another debut, Corellian Cor Hound. Oh man, that thing is, that thing is ugly. But we're doing pick your character breaks. And there is a The Eris insert. This is an insert that focuses on Bo Katan Kreese. It's all about Bo Katan. And an Asajj Ventress Refract. Yeah, this stuff is gorgeous so far. The color really lends itself well to the, to the cards. Captain Enoch base. Bo Katan, no helmet. Padme, Padme back signing. Love to see Natalie Portman signing. A Rebel Alliance insert, Luke Skywalker. And then purple quill. 
Queel out of 199, and Nick Nolte, the voice of Queel, is a signer in this. And another Rise of Palpatine, Rival at the second Death Star, and another blue, or not another, but the first blue we've seen since Akaz from the Andor series. Since Akaz, so I think that was four numbered cards. So yeah, four numbered parallels, plus our auto. Shin Hati on the debut, that's probably gonna be the most sought after debut in this set. Cool new character in Ahsoka. Boba Fett's Rancor, okay. Another Eris insert. And a Barris Offy Refractor. Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, Starship's Blueprints. Really digging that, the Shadow Box. Um, there's a set with a lot of different things in there. Boba, Boba Ship is in there. Other ships. That smoky design. Uh, in the background with the color kind of filling in behind it. Looks really good. Let's get this Delight opened up. There are exclusive parallels to Delight, plus two more autos, and still looking for those short prints as well. So now we have the new Chrome Delight to Star Wars. Two autographs plus exclusive parallels. I think we're looking for the exact same chase as his hobby. We're gonna get one more auto, and hopefully some extra numbered cards in the Chrome Delight. We're just not gonna have base, essentially. Really similar to the Delights from other sets like Chrome Baseball. All right, so we have our one singular pack. Delightful. All right. Couple of base, Mudhorn, Kylo. All right, now we get to our refractors. Don't drop the cards. Drash, there's an insert, the Eris again. Then we've got, oh, an auto right in the center here. Cami auto. Blue to 150, that's a gorgeous signature. Mandy Kowalski. And a purple auto of cousin Niano Organa. To 199, Ian Inigo. Okay, so two numbered autos, and then, okay, so now we have this much different looking design on the refractor here. It's like a pulsar look is what we'd probably call that. The twins on the blue, I don't see numbering on this either. So that just must be a blue exclusive. The twins, Twi'lek Major Domo, Luthen Rail, awesome character in the Andor series. Grand Admiral Thrawn, I believe that's the first live action Thrawn we've seen. That's pretty cool. Captain Phasma and Jabba the Hutt. We gotta open more of this delight. I wanna see if there are other Pulsar colors or they weren't on the sales sheet, so uh, gonna wanna be looking out for more of those on release day and just ripping personals, group breaks going forward. Yeah, so I think that about covers it. Great looking set. I think the base design is fantastic. The color uh, schemes are gonna look really good with different colors behind the characters with that smoky look. A lot of new signers, short prints. I'm super excited for release day. 